People are slowly but surely embracing electric vehicles, EVs, yet the transition still needs to accelerate to achieve the goal of net zero emissions by 2050. Despite numerous advancements in EVs, many drivers are still reluctant to depart from the convenience of gasoline-powered cars. However, the emergence of two new types of batteries, sodium-ion batteries and solid-state batteries, brings hope for a cost-effective and efficient solution. With projected manufacturing costs dropping to around 40 US dollars per kilowatt hours by the end of this decade. Solid state batteries with energy densities ranging from 400 to 500 watt hours a kg and the ability to charge up to 80% capacity in just 10 to 15 minutes, not only extend the driving range, but also minimize charging time. With these advancements, the question arises, solid state batteries or sodium ion batteries, which will be the superior choice for a greener future? What battery technology is establishing a new benchmark for electric vehicles, solid state batteries or sodium ion batteries? The development of next generation batteries is gaining momentum as it is a crucial factor in the future of energy storage and it holds the key to carbon reduction and energy transition amidst the challenges of climate change. Energy storage for renewables not only makes energy production more flexible, but also ensures the integration of renewable energy into the grid. Now, let's explore the five differences between these two types of batteries, considering the future of the electric vehicle industry. First, let's consider energy density. Solid-state batteries are considered the next generation of battery technology, particularly in the electric vehicle EV industry. They utilize solid electrolytes instead of liquid electrolytes in conventional lithium-ion batteries, offering several key benefits, including higher energy density, improved safety, and longer lifespan. These batteries can achieve energy densities ranging from 300 to 500 watt-hours a kilogram, compared to the current 250 to 300 watt-hours a kg of lithium-ion batteries. Research by BMW has shown that solid-state batteries can provide double the energy density of standard lithium-ion batteries, making them an attractive choice for EV manufacturers looking to optimize vehicle performance and range. Meanwhile, sodium ion batteries are also seen as another potential option for electric vehicles, using sodium instead of lithium. Sodium is a more abundant and cheaper element compared to lithium, making sodium ion batteries a cost-effective solution. However, the energy density of sodium ion batteries is currently lower, ranging from 130 watt-hours a kg to 160 watt-hours a kg, but is expected to increase to around 200 watt-hours a kg in the future. Although not as high as solid-state batteries, this still surpasses the theoretical limits of LFP devices. Moreover, in terms of power density, sodium ion batteries can achieve 1 kilowatt a kg, higher than the 340 to 420 watt per kg of nickel manganese cobalt NMC batteries and 175 to 425 watts a kg of other battery types. This indicates that despite having a lower energy density than solid state batteries, sodium ion batteries still have significant potential due to their stability and lower cost. When comparing the two advanced battery technologies, cost is a key factor to consider. In the realm of lithium metal solid state batteries, the US Department of Energy DOE, has been leveraging this technology to drive robust growth in the EV market, albeit still facing cost challenges. In the context of solid state metal lithium batteries, the DOE considered figures in 2023 and projected a cost of around $320 a kilowatt hour. However, they anticipate this cost to decrease to a more competitive range from $70 to $120 per kilowatt hour. Estimated production costs for solid state batteries this year are 153 US dollars a kilowatt hour, significantly reduced from the $1,355 a kilowatt hour back in 2008. These cost reductions are attributed to advancements in battery technology and chemistry, along with increased manufacturing scale. By 2025, predicts that production costs for solid state batteries and other advanced types could decrease to $60 US dollars a kilowatt hour. As for the cost of sodium ion batteries, market research company ID Tech X, based in the UK, states that sodium ion batteries with multi layer metal oxide cathodes and hard carbon anodes will have material costs about 25 to 30% lower than lithium iron phosphate LFP batteries. However, significant initial savings may be challenging to achieve as this technology requires time to scale up. ID Tech X calculates the average cell cost for sodium ion batteries to be $87 a kilowatt hour. By the end of this decade, the production cost of sodium ion batteries, primarily using iron and manganese, may bottom out at around $40 US a kilowatt hour, equivalent to $50 a kilowatt hour at the pack level. In the latest report on sodium ion technology, experts predict that battery production capacity will exceed 100 gigawatt hours by 2030. 
By 2025, capacity could significantly increase with investments expected in 2024. Through this analysis, it is evident that while current solid-state batteries may have higher costs with positive cost reduction forecasts, they could become a viable option in the near future. Meanwhile, sodium-ion batteries with lower costs and significant scalability potential may prove to be an attractive solution for large-scale energy storage applications and transportation. When it comes to safety, both types of advanced batteries have their own characteristics. Solid-state batteries are often hailed as the holy grail due to perceived advantages such as improved safety, higher energy density, longer lifespan, greater durability, wider operating temperature range, tighter stacking, simpler battery design, and potential for mechanical flexibility. By replacing organic liquid electrolytes with solid electrolytes, these batteries get more resilient and safer. Moreover, solid electrolytes may be compatible with high-voltage cathode materials and high-capacity lithium metal anodes, pushing energy density beyond 1,000 and watt hours in L. However, most solid state electrolytes tend to have higher densities than liquid electrolytes, especially inorganic solid electrolytes, often thicker than separators used in conventional lithium ion batteries. If the electrode composition remains unchanged, still using graphite anodes and multi layer metal oxide cathodes, most solid state batteries will have a lower energy density per weight compared to lithium ion batteries. Additionally, some argue that thermal management systems may be eliminated for solid-state batteries due to their safety. However, this is not entirely accurate. Solid-state batteries may have different safe operating zones compared to lithium-ion batteries. Thermal management systems and other protective measures are still necessary. Solid-state batteries are highly regarded for safety due to their use of solid electrolytes instead of flammable liquid electrolytes found in conventional lithium-ion batteries. Solid electrolytes not only reduce the risk of leakage, but also eliminate the risk of explosion due to internal short circuits. Solid electrolytes have higher thermal tolerance and are less prone to decomposition at high temperatures, enabling solid-state batteries to operate safely in more challenging conditions. Additionally, because solid-state batteries can maintain a more stable structure during charging and discharging, the formation of dendritic crystals, a common cause of short circuits, is significantly reduced. As for sodium ion batteries, despite their lower energy density compared to solid state batteries, they still offer considerable safety. A notable aspect of sodium ion batteries stems from the use of sodium, a more abundant element with fewer reactive properties than lithium. This reduces the risk of explosion and enhances chemical stability. Materials used in sodium ion batteries, such as multi layered metal oxide cathodes and hard carbon anodes, tend to be stable and durable under thermal and mechanical stress. An ID Tech X report indicates that sodium ion batteries can operate safely at temperatures up to 100 degrees Celsius compared to around 60 degrees Celsius for conventional lithium ion batteries. Furthermore, because sodium reacts less with water and air than lithium, handling and transporting sodium ion batteries are safer, reducing the risk of accidents during production and use. The performance of these two types of batteries in different condition will be as follows. Solid-state batteries excel in operating at low temperatures. Solid electrolytes do not freeze like liquid electrolytes in traditional lithium-ion batteries, ensuring good performance even at temperatures below zero degrees. Specifically, research has shown that solid-state batteries can operate reliably at minus 20 degrees Celsius. On the other hand, sodium-ion batteries exhibit relatively good performance at low temperatures, although not as good as solid-state batteries. Due to the chemical properties of sodium, sodium ion batteries can tolerate temperatures around minus 10 degrees Celsius without significant performance degradation. However, even at lower temperatures, the performance of sodium ion batteries may decline. Solid state batteries demonstrate superior heat resistance with solid electrolytes that don't vaporize or decompose at high temperatures, thereby reducing the risk of explosion. This allows solid state batteries to operate stably at temperatures from 80 to 100 degrees Celsius. In contrast, traditional lithium-ion batteries may encounter issues or reduce performance at temperatures above 60 degrees Celsius. Sodium-ion batteries also exhibit stable performance at similarly high temperatures at solid-state batteries thanks to the stability of sodium and other materials used. Experiments have shown that sodium-ion batteries can perform well at temperatures up to 60 to 80 degrees Celsius, which is advantageous for applications in high-temperature conditions. Solid-state batteries have superior fast-charging capabilities due to their ability to withstand high currents and forming dendrites, one of the main causes of short circuits and failures. Experiments have demonstrated that solid-state batteries can charge up to 80% of their capacity within 15 to 30 minutes without significantly affecting battery lifespan.
While sodium ion batteries also have fast charging capabilities, they are not as superior as solid state batteries. Research has indicated that sodium ion batteries can charge up to 80% of their capacity within 30 to 45 minutes without causing significant lifespan or safety issues. This makes sodium ion batteries a feasible choice for applications that need fast charging, albeit at a lower cost. How do these two types of batteries affect the environment? According to a study by Transport and Environment (TNE), solid-state batteries can reduce the carbon emissions of electric vehicles by about 39%, while also indicating that producing solid-state batteries from sustainably sourced raw materials could further mitigate the climate impact of batteries. New mining techniques such as recovering lithium from geothermal wells are considered to have less environmental impact compared to traditional mining methods associated with lithium sourcing from clay deposits and spodumene. Meanwhile, also dubbed as the least harmful type of battery to humans compared to modern types, sodium ion batteries are primarily attributed to their use of sodium instead of lithium. This minimizes the risk of environmental pollution and health-related issues during the handling and recycling of sodium ion batteries. They also have the lowest water pollution levels among various battery types, helping to reduce negative impacts on precious water resources and aquatic ecosystems. Although sodium ion batteries have a moderate impact on resource depletion and soil acidification, they still have a positive impact compared to many other types of batteries because the use of sodium can reduce dependence on rare resources and minimize the extraction and processing of natural resource materials. What challenges need to be addressed for these two types of batteries? Regarding the challenges of solid-state batteries, especially under fast charging conditions, affects the battery's lifespan. Solid electrolytes do not conduct ions as effectively as liquid counterparts, impacting both the power and energy of the cell. Solid-state cells require high temperature and external pressure to operate efficiently, adding complexity to packaging design. Furthermore, solid-state cells necessitate high manufacturing precision and numerous technical improvements to be mass-produced cost-effectively. While the potential benefits are appealing, it's crucial to acknowledge the challenges hindering widespread solid-state battery production is the most significant hurdle. Technological barriers are undeniable as many companies strive to develop reliable and cost-effective solid electrolytes capable of withstanding harsh automotive conditions, a technical challenge actively being addressed. Generally, solid-state electrolytes are more brittle and temperature-sensitive than liquid counterparts, making safe implementation crucial. Improvements in solid electrolytes may take another 5 to 10 years to achieve the necessary stability. Expanding production scale to meet automotive industry demands is a significant obstacle. Raw material procurement needs careful consideration, and batch production processes require enhancement and optimization to make solid-state batteries economically viable. The global solid-state battery production capacity currently stands at around 2 gigawatt hours, but to meet market demand, the figure needs to increase to at least 100 gigawatt hours by 2030, demanding significant investments in technology and infrastructure. Additionally, cost considerations are paramount. Currently, solid-state battery production costs are relatively high compared to traditional lithium-ion batteries. Achieving cost parity or cost-effectiveness is crucial for widespread adoption. The production cost of solid-state batteries currently fluctuates around $400 US per kilowatt hour compared to around $150 US a kilowatt hour for lithium-ion batteries. However, with advancements in technology and production scale, experts predict this cost could decrease to $80 to $100 US a kilowatt hour within the next decade. Although the timeline for widespread adoption of solid-state batteries remains uncertain, there are promising developments. Major automaker and battery manufacturers are heavily investing in research and developments to overcome current challenges. Breakthroughs in solid-state technology are expected to accelerate the pace of bringing products to market. As for challenges of sodium-ion batteries, industry experts predict that solid-state batteries may begin penetrating the automotive market by the mid to late 2020s. However, initial implementation may be limited to high-end electric vehicles before getting widespread. Of course, sodium-ion batteries also face their own challenges, particularly in commercialization and competition with existing battery technologies. One of the main challenges is the lower energy density compared to lithium-ion batteries. Currently, sodium-ion batteries have an energy density of around 130 to 160 watt-hours a kg, while lithium-ion batteries typically achieve between 250 to 300 watt-hours a kg. This means that sodium ion batteries need to be larger and heavier to provide the same energy level, limiting their use in applications requiring higher energy density, such as electric vehicles. Furthermore, the charging and discharging efficiency of sodium ion batteries also needs improvement. Although sodium ion batteries can fast charge up to 80% capacity in about 30 to 45 minutes, they still do not reach the fast charging levels of solid state batteries, which can achieve the same level of charging in 15 to 30 minutes.
The ability to withstand high currents without dendrite formation remains a significant challenge to improve the performance and durability of sodium ion batteries. Additionally, the lifespan of sodium ion batteries currently cannot compare to their counterparts. According to some studies, the lifespan of sodium ion batteries is around 1,000 to 2,000 charge discharge cycles, while lithium ion batteries can get up to 3,000 to 5,000 cycles. This means that sodium ion batteries need to be replaced more frequently, increasing the overall long-term ownership costs. On the other hand, the manufacturing process of sodium ion batteries, although similar to lithium ion batteries, still needs to be optimized to ensure economic efficiency. The cost to convert a lithium ion battery manufacturing plant to produce sodium ion batteries is estimated to require an additional 10% capital cost. But to achieve large scale production and reduce production costs to competitive levels, the industry still needs significant investment in research and development. Lastly, another challenge is the development and standardization of raw material and supply chains for sodium ion batteries. Although sodium is more abundant and cheaper than lithium, establishing a stable and sustainable supply chain to meet the growing market demand remains an issue to be addressed. While sodium ion batteries have great potential, overcoming challenges related to energy density, charging, discharging efficiency, lifespan, manufacturing processes, and supply chains is necessary for them to effectively compete with current battery technologies and contribute to the future of renewable energy storage. The future prospects of these two types of batteries for the automotive industry are very promising. Improvements in solid-state batteries are opening up exciting prospects for the automotive industry. Like any new policy and product, the development of electric vehicles has faced many challenges, but the benefits of solid-state batteries are causing great excitement in the automotive industry. Vehicles equipped with solid-state batteries will have a strong competitive advantage, helping dealerships stand out with advanced technology, attracting forward-thinking consumers, and differentiating themselves from competitors. These improvements are also enhancing customer satisfaction with longer driving ranges, faster charging times, and increased safety, contributing to a better electric vehicle ownership experience. Satisfied customers are more likely to become repeat buyers and support dealerships. Moreover, with longer lifespans and lower maintenance requirements, solid-state batteries can significantly reduce total ownership costs, an attractive selling point for cost-conscious consumers. Many automakers have announced that electric vehicles using solid-state batteries will appear around 2025 and will see significant growth by 2030. Some are developing their own solid-state technology, while others are collaborating with partners, including startups and established companies. In fact, some automakers and partners are establishing new joint ventures to bring solid-state batteries into electric vehicle production. Solid-state batteries are not only safer than lithium-ion batteries, but also have higher energy density due to their 3D architecture design with higher theoretical power, providing a wider operating range from batteries of the same size as current lithium-ion packs. Research and development projects are also striving to reduce the cost of solid-state batteries, with some estimates suggesting that the final cost could be more than 30% lower than that of conventional batteries today. Once solid-state technology meets these promises, there will be very few reasons for automakers to continue using traditional lithium-ion batteries in electrical vehicles in the future. Tesla, a pioneer in EVs, is poised to maintain its leadership position by carefully selecting and optimizing the type of battery it uses. With its commitment to innovation, Tesla is likely to embrace solid-state batteries, capitalizing on their higher energy density, faster charging times, and longer lifespan compared to traditional lithium-ion batteries. By investing in research and development, forging strategic partnerships, and leveraging its manufacturing expertise, Tesla can ensure that it remains at the forefront of electric vehicle technology. Choosing the right battery technology will enable Tesla to continue offering cutting-edge vehicles that redefine the automotive industry and drive the transition to sustainable transportation. We hope you'll experience the utmost relaxation after watching this video. If you do, please press the like button and join the Tesla Car World community by subscribing to our channel. Hit the notification bell icon to stay tuned for any fantastic videos coming your way. Your feedback and time are highly appreciated. Thanks so much for watching, and we look forward to seeing you soon. Until then, stay safe and enjoy. Thank you.